Hello and welcome back to Keon's Lab. Today I wanted to show you something really cool I learned about recently that I bet 99% of people watching had no idea about. Did you know that USB flash drives come in different formats physically? Now before you click off the video because you think I'm talking about the various shapes and sizes of USB drives that exist, I'm actually talking about the physical module inside of the shell that holds the NAND or EMMC flash chip along with any data controllers. And what you're seeing on screen is what is currently being used for flash drive production, and that is a UDP disk. UDP standing for USB disk in a package. And you can actually see the little writing on the chip itself indicating that it is a 16 gigabyte IC created in 2023 and if you're unfamiliar with integrated circuits in general the reason that this is so cool is the fact that the bottom of a chip like this is normally covered in tiny dots called a bga or ball grid array but the bottom of this chip is just a standard usb interface so how does that work before we can understand how the UDP drive works, we must first look inside of a standard USB drive made with the PCB format. This is a 16 gigabyte USB 3.0 drive I had found at a Walmart for like $5 six years ago, and surprisingly it has a SanDisk branded NAND chip on the inside. You can clearly see the BGA solder points underneath the PCB, and right next to those is the smaller chip, which is the USB 3.0 controller. So for anyone unfamiliar with the USB protocol, a NAND flash chip, which is purely just computer memory with no controller, is kind of like a library full of information, and the USB controller would be the librarian who can not only talk to you in your language, but who can also interpret requests for data into a physical location and vice versa. After all, you can have access to the biggest library in the universe, but if nothing's written in your language and you don't know where anything is, and there is no librarian or, or data controller in this case to help you, well, that's not much use as a library then, is it? So this is the NAND flash chip, which is only the memory without any standardized access to the outside world. And this is the USB controller I was just talking about, which is the middleman between the host device and the flash chip. The controller is what makes a USB drive a USB drive, as it allows for high-speed, bidirectional serial-to-parallel and parallel-to-serial multiplexing which is just a fancy way of saying it lets the PC communicate using only two data pins to a device with a lot of data pins. This is the backbone behind the device intercompatibility, which we enjoy today, and the reason why you don't really see too many giant header cables with a bunch of pins anymore when it comes to consumer electronics. So back onto the UDP drive, or USB disk in package drive, the thing that makes this thing so cool is the fact that the USB controller and the flash memory chip are both embedded onto a single tiny device about twice the thickness of a micro SD card. The UDP drive is waterproof, shockproof, and overall much more durable as compared to the PCB method of assembly. You may notice the inside of this USB stick looks oddly similar to the chip I just showed you. And that's because it's nothing more than a steel shell with a wall thickness of about 0.4 millimeters and a slightly longer version of the UDP drive inside of it. And so considering the wall thickness is the same as my 3D printer's nozzle diameter, why not make my own USB drive? Well, how are you going to make a reliable connection to the gold contacts, you may ask? 45 cent USB-A to USB-C adapter from AliExpress, that's how. As you can see, the adapter fits in almost perfectly. Not perfect enough for my standards, but good enough to demonstrate. And I actually designed the shell before I received the USB-C adapter because I thought I could read the chip 
by just having a right size shell. But since my 0.4 millimeter printer nozzle was limiting how precisely I could print it, I couldn't add a small enough amount of wall thickness to get the UDP contacts firmly against the USB port of the computer. I tried adding some shins made of soda can pieces, but that didn't seem to work either. So the next day I received the adapter you're seeing here, which I had just ordered in case the first plan didn't work. And it turned out even better than I expected. I'm not even kidding that I keep surprising myself with the coolness of the things I make sometimes. And the idea I have in mind for what I'm going to do with this is going to be even cooler. And I did forget to add the little ledge for keeping the adapter in place to orient the chip properly when inserting, similar to a micro SD adapter. So I will have to add that in later. I was able to format the disk successfully and copied a couple of 1080p royalty free stock videos onto it to test out. I ejected it prior to making this video and we will now insert it into the computer and see if it works. I named the disk Keon USB so we should see that up here when I plug this in. And it does, so now let's enter the disk and stream two of the videos directly off to demonstrate that the playback is flawless. Check the disk and 